Hey everybody, welcome. I'm Suzanne Gunderson from Screen Right Now. I'm an inner story coach and I help writers and industry creatives to naturally de-stress, build tremendous confidence and deepen their emotional worldview, wisdom and truth to be able to really hook audiences into wanting more. Uh, I've created this new industry wisdom bit series to bring to you industry professionals to share with them their one golden nugget that's made a difference in their industry and their career. So I'm joined today by Michael Klug. And Michael, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I am an actor and a screenwriter and a film critic and a screenplay consultant. Um, I live in LA with my husband and just trying to get stuff done this year. <laughs> That's enough. That's wonderful. Yeah. So please, please share with us, you know, what is your industry wisdom bit? Um, well, we discussed about the fact that um, how important networking is and my kind of exposure to that. I, I started um, a job as a film critic landed in my lap about six years ago. I did it for five years um, and now I just kind of do it on the side, but I was doing it um, basically full time. And of course, going to festivals and, you know, I had to visit a couple sets and, and interviewing and all this other stuff. Um, it just made such a huge difference as far as getting out of, uh, you know, losing inhibitions about speaking to people. And um, so you mean you weren't just naturally an extrovert going out and being a butterfly no, I mean, talking to everybody? I've been acting since <laughs> I was eight, but, you know, actors are usually introverts, you know, so it's it was it was really hard to to just be thrown in. And my first gig for this company that I worked with for five years was you're going to cover the carpet at, at a major um, horror film festival in LA. No pressure. So, no, no, not pressure. at all. No pressure. Um, but the, over that five years, the thing that I realized is because I've also made this incredible network of friends through that gig, um, which has only, you know, helped serve my, you know, connections as far as screenwriting and filmmaking and all this. Um, so if I hadn't been really good or gotten better at, you know, being on the carpet and interviewing, that might not have been as usable, you mm. know? So, I mean, I can't imagine everyone's going to want to jump out and go be a, a film critic and, and cover carpets and stuff. But if there's something you can find that's going to throw you into the wolves and just, you just got to do it. I mean, there's, there was no choice, you know, if you want to get coverage and, and write a good article for your outlet, I just had to talk to people. You know? yeah. So, it was, it was an amazing um, journey to do that. And now um, just at parties and social events, certainly not in the last year, but uh, it's, it's not easy necessarily, but it's, it's far better than it used to be prior to that. I mean, you know, I'm not as awkward and, you know, I can kind of be uh, self-effacing about just foibles or I stutter or whatever it is, you know, it's just, people don't care if they like you, that's the bottom line. Right. I feel people are more insecure about what's going on with them than, yeah. you know, than what you might be saying. So great practice with everybody that you come across your path. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. And it's so it's it's something that I've I've learned and I've really taken to heart and, and I know that it's benefited me because I think you can have all the talent in the world, but if you know networking is just such a huge part of it, people want to know that they like you and want to work with you regardless if, you know, maybe your, your writing isn't perfect, but it could be adjusted or improved, but do they like you? You know, that's the main thing. And so to learn to network well is so key. It's just, it's so important. And I feel really blessed. I hate that term, but I'd like to, okay, I can kind of yeah, do that it you, without. That they, that they gave you that experience to kind of break the ice for you to be able to feel, you know, yeah. feel something in your body, whether it was frozen and shock. Oh my gosh, what do I yeah. say now? And, you know, like where are the words where, you know, the, the dialogue's happening in your mind, but it's not coming out of your mouth. So, yeah. you know, to, to be able to know that this is something that's really helped shape your, your career to be able to have the skill Mm -hmm. um, and, and find ways to do it. Not just, you know, maybe not everyone's going to have the red carpet experience right. going into that, but, but to know how to, you know, to, to develop it and going out into the world and practicing it, even with strangers, maybe just say yeah. hello to people that you wouldn't say hello to, you know, and just practicing opening your mouth in front of people. Oh, for sure. And it's, it kind of goes in that same realm of, you know, if you get into the room to pitch something, you can't oh, yeah. be awkward. I mean, you want to be as smooth as you possibly can be. And, so, I mean, they tell you practice your pitches, but if you can find ways to be in large groups and just have to do it without really thinking about it, it's, it's 
what is it trial by fire i guess you know and right. so again maybe if there's not a film criticism or a reviewing you know red carpet scenario what can you find because there are a lot of networking groups you know that also help you come out of your shell and hopefully you connect with somebody that makes it kind of a, a triumph and so it just helps you the next time yeah, I always felt like, um, and I'm a serious introvert, serious introvert. Yeah, me too. And I, um, I always thought, well, nobody wants to go first, you know, don't make me go first. But you always remember that first person to go, wow, they had the balls or they did it or yeah. they stood up. And then, yep. then you're like over with. So I'm like, <laughs> I always like, all right, I'll go first, you know, I'll just say it. Even if I just sounded wrong, like it just kind of broke the ice and then just made me feel like the, the anxiety was gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those first goers too. It's like, now it's like, I get in a scenario. I'm like, I'm just going to go, you know, because it's like, I, I can project the confidence, even if it's not there. <laughs> so it does, I think like it does set other people at ease and maybe it just makes, you know, it, you know, it sets the stage for how the rest of the conversation might go. So even if you're faking it, you know, people might buy into it and just, it might make everything easier from there on out. Hey, eventually you'll smooth out your delivery and it'll be just much more effortless, but you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah, Everybody absolutely. Start somewhere. Well, um, well, thank you so much for sharing that. And hopefully people who are listening are going to take that to heart when they go out and, and start to practice speaking and networking, yes. speaking to people that they don't know that they do know just a little bit more, you know, lean into the discomfort and, and move through it yeah. and be able to develop that as a, as a skill for themselves. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Um, well, I mean, not necessarily on topic, but I do have the Klugula screenplay consulting.com. So I do offer um, notes, uh, editing uh, on feature and uh, short screenplays. And I do sometimes have blogs on the site. So things like networking will be covered, you know, here and there, but just kind of everything about the biz that might be of interest. Cool. So I don't even know how to spell what you just said for your <laughs> website. So don't worry, anybody, it's going to be in the description. It'll be box in the notes. Of yeah. This, of this video. No worries. Um, also, uh, you know, feel free to anybody who's listening, go to my website, screenrightnow.com. I have three steps to get pitch ready. Interesting that we're talking about pitches. Uh, it will help you to naturally de-stress and build tremendous confidence. That way, when you get in front of your audience, uh, you're speaking from, you know, your heart and soul, which is really going to help sell your script or whatever it is that you're trying to sell yourself yeah. as an actor, uh, as yourself as a director, producer. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching today and uh, we'll see you on the next Industry Wisdom Bit. Thanks, Michael. Thank you, Suzanne.